This is a force turn Tosulin machine, Roger, that Matsura supply in the UK. How big can this machine go? It's a vertical lathe, but I want to know what size of part you could get on here. Well, the table starts at two and a half metres and goes up to six metres, and the load capacity is up to 100 tonne. What makes this machine a little bit unique for you, Roger, when you look at it? Well, this particular model has got twin RAM, so it enables you to rough and semi-finish in the same operation. Why would someone want to do that, Roger, when it might seem obvious to me and you, but why would they, why would they want to do uh, roughing and finishing at the same time? Mainly metal removal. You know, if you've got a very large part where you're, you're machining, say, a five-metre diameter ring, if you can rough and semi-finish at the same time, it, it reduces cycle times. You say rough and semi-finish, not rough and finish? No, because you're putting a lot of stresses into the part, so it's just really about metal removal. Both these rams work independently? They do, yes. Yeah, you, you can turn on both or you could drill on both. So you could mill uh, or drill a hole from this one and that one at the same time in the side of a ring and do 24 holes, 12 each side essentially while you're indexing the C-axis? Yeah, you could do. You've got a W axis on this machine as well, so you can get a lot of height under the column. What's the biggest part you could actually put on here? Yeah, you can go up to two metres high. Two metres high, and what about the weight of that part? Yeah, well, it could go up to 100 tonne. That's, a, that's a, a massive amount of uh, or a huge casting or a huge piece of material on there. One, one of the things that impressed me, and I know we're going to see it in a second, is what sort of depth of cut can an engineer watching this expect to do on a machine of this nature? Well, a basic test cut on this when the customer accepts the machine is 20 mil depth in a steel, and you, you end up with a, a component or a chip like this. Now, I've seen plenty of bits of swarf in my time, in fact, made plenty of swarf, but I've never seen one quite that size. That's pretty monstrous. Yeah, and it's a standard sort of depth of cut that they do as a test. And where would you recognise a machine like this fitting in? Aviation, automotive, nuclear, oil and gas? Where in your eyes does it fit in Matsura's range and for your customers? Well, this size of machine is normally power generation and oil and gas, where you've got a large variety of valves or some big um, wind turbines, that sort of, sort of uh, sector. And it's controlled here by a Siemens control. Is, is this a standard or do you offer them with, with a variance? A standard at Siemens, you can have Fanuc. What about the build and the makeup of the machine? Because you've got something of this size, there's a lot goes into it, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Really, it's made up of five parts. You've got the bed, the table, the twin column, and a cross rail with the ramp. And how do you handle things like growth? in temperature, do you have temperature controlled environments? If, you, if you're machining large parts, getting accuracy is, is key, isn't it? Yeah, well, the sensors positioned around the column and the ram and the table itself, and also they use temperature controlled oil to circulate through all of the major parts to, to minimise any growth in the, in the machine. We're going to have a look at the tool changer in a minute, but I have, have seen it in action. This, this machine isn't the fastest machine in the world, but again, I talk about speed as not being the, the critical factor here. What is the critical thing that you want to get from a machine of this nature? Why would you buy one? I think you've got to list, listen to the customer's requests. Tossolin don't make a standard machine. Whatever the customer wants, they'll try and satisfy that. And that could be multitude of different heads, grinding, angle heads, etc. Um, and really, speed isn't the main factor. It's trying to do as many setups as you can in one go. You want, to get a, you want to put a part on here and literally do as much as you can, then turn it over, finish the other side and job done, correct? Well, if it's 100 ton in weight, you don't want to pick it up too many times. Get muscle strain. Let's go and have a look at the tool changer. So describe to me how this tool setup works here, Roger. Well, this is a standard sort of setup with 40 tools, and that can be a mixture of um, DIN 50 or Capto C8 in this particular model. So it's 40 tool uh, positions and up to seven different heads. So do you put the tool in the head and then the head in the machine or do you put the head in the machine and then the tool in the head? Head into the machine and then tool into the head. And, and when you've got, say you say 40 tools here, c can this go larger than that? Can you get more heads? Where does it, where does it end? Yeah, you, you can really go up to 128 tools in this sort of style with the chain and heads you can go 10, 12, whatever you need. So you've got a phenomenal amount of flexibility in what you can hold from a tooling uh, element, haven't you? Yeah, you have. You, and the mixture is that you can change rotating tools or static turning tools. And this can be on both sides of the machine for either ramp? It can be, yes. 
One other point that we haven't touched on yet is the through spindle coolant. We're talking about tooling. You've got 400 bar through spindle coolant on this machine as well. That, that's, that's quite a level. Yeah, it is. You have to have specialist tools to cope with it, but the design of the heads have been manufactured and designed to actually cope with that pressure. It's one hell of a machine here, Roger. Where, where, where in your eyes do Matsura sell one of these? Um, main sectors would be power generation and valve manufacturer. And do you have much competition when you start getting into this, into this field? Because I haven't seen many machines like this. There are a few. Yeah, there are a few. <laughs> very, very impressive.